the Earth keeps a diary. You can read it if you understand her language. She writes about a turbulent climate history, a story that it seems, again, stands at a turning point. What does climate change mean for the world of tomorrow? And what must we do to understand the climate of the Earth? We need to research in areas that are rough and breathtakingly beautiful, that seem infinitely far away, but yet shape the climate of our planet. We have to explore the Earth from the top of the atmosphere to the bottom of the sea. Observe glaciers, the sea ice, coasts, the ocean, and the vast permafrost regions of the Northern Hemisphere. We need to understand the gigantic currents of the atmosphere and the oceans, the carbon cycle of the Earth, the diversity in the sea. The complexity of a blue planet where everything is interconnected. We have to collect data over long periods to distinguish short-term variations from long-term trends. We need people who are well-trained, who all time think and work scientifically, even under extreme conditions, with perseverance and precision. Who develop observation systems to collect data 24 hours a day and 365 days a year. Who solve with modern analytics the puzzles of the Earth, old and new ones, in micro and macrocosm. We need people who can translate the complexity of the world into algorithms and mathematical models. Technology that does not fail under extreme conditions. We need specialists for ice and oceans, for shallow seas and coasts, for frozen lands, for expeditions to the remotest corners of the world. Dedicated people who work hand in hand and think across disciplines while getting to the bottom of things. We need a sense of the limits of the possible and the challenges that come with it. A good interplay between logistics and research. Sometimes we must drill three kilometers deep into the ice to bring the climate history of the Earth back to the present or bring up sediments from the ocean bed several thousand meters below sea level to read the stories of the Earth. We need an icebreaker, a research vessel, which regularly commutes between the Arctic and the Antarctic, bringing hundreds of scientists from around the world to their remote research sites, which can easily winter in polar oceans. We need aircraft, which can precisely measure the chemical composition of the air as well as the thickness of sea ice. We need a research station in Antarctica, where people can winter and carry out research while unreachable by ship or plane for eight months. We need a network of good partners, like at 79 degrees north, a village that exists solely for the scientists. Without teamwork, marine, polar, and climate research would be impossible. We need satellites in space, 
divers in icy oceans. The perfect gear for cold polar winters. But we also need an awareness that the task is enormous. A great mystery that we are unraveling more and more each day, passing on the knowledge we receive. Solving mysteries of the Earth requires global cooperation, a lot of experience, and fascination. For the ice and the sea. All this is what we need to understand the climate of the Earth. To be able to tell people as reliably as possible how we are changing the world through human action and what climate we will live in tomorrow.